Um, hey, there was a fake letter going around from St. John's County School. Well, not from St. John's County School District, I guess, but that's what they thought it was. It was last night, a fabricated letter uh, that purported to come from the superintendent of St. John's County School District, circulated on Facebook groups, frequented by parents. You sure why you don't... That you, you, how do people take some of these Facebook groups seriously? Mm. It's just, it's so goofy. Yeah, some of them do, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, the Facebook groups, yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into it right now, but boy, some of them are goofy. Some of them are, yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, a, it, it was alleging budget cuts and staffing shortages. Superintendent Tim Force, and one of the news stations picked this up. I saw this mm. pop up on my feed mm. yesterday from a news station. Superintendent Tim Forsen expressed deep concern over the unauthorized use of his name and a board member's name in the fake communication, emphasizing that uh, neither he nor the district leaders were aware of its existence until contacted by one of the news stations in Jacksonville. One mother within the school district uh, encountered the letter across multiple Facebook groups. <laughs> that was this year's source. And initially believed its authenticity. Because if you see it in more than one place, it must be real. Oh, yeah, true. She stressed the importance of transparency from the district regarding any factual basis in the letter's claims. I mean, is the district supposed to just sit there and, like, try and find fake letters all day long? They got other things to do. Absolutely. The letter, the, the letter purported that the district would reduce school nurses to one per school next year. He even puts a fake letter out like this. Um... Due to budget constraints and the need for new schools, while Superintendent Forsen confirmed that the district would indeed revert to one new. Okay, so this is factual information. That's what I asked you. Fake in letter, real news. Yeah, is it real or is it factual? I, I don't know. Now I'm questioning the school district. Uh oh. Another. Uh, this, uh, here we go with the bipolarness again. Blunders. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so the letter said that the district would reduce school nurses to one per school year, and Tim Forsen said, "Yep, yeah, that's that's actually true." <laughs> he clarified that this decision stemmed from the impending loss of COVID era funding for right. support staff, not budget cuts. Well, I mean, that's kind of budget cuts. Mm. But what was the point of the fake letter? Was there fundraising behind it? Like, were they trying to get people to get money? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Contradictor, contrary, they say, to the letter's assertion, non medical staff will not be trained to replace nurses. So it's even worse than the letter said. Hmm. Forsen reiterated that the district's commitment to maintaining licensed, licensed nursing staff would remain there. Um, addressing the need for additional schools, the district affirmed ongoing efforts to construct new K-8 facilities to alleviate overcrowding with plans for five new schools by 2026, two of which are slated to open this fall. Parents emphasized the urgency of prioritizing education and infrastructure amidst population growth, stressing the necessity for expanding school capacity. Uh, the district pledged to investigate the source of the fake letter and combat further dissemination of false information. Mm. Sounds like the letter kind of got it right. Sounds to be like it. With you. I, Sounds I'm like the letter got it right. Kind of shocked, actually, sitting over yeah. here. Uh, he expressed frustration over the unauthorized letter. You know, the problem is, uh, you know, folks in government, sometimes uh, they they get a little mad when information gets out there and they didn't control the flow of the information getting out there. I'm not saying that's necessarily what happened in this case. It but sounds like it, though. Happens. I'd be a little happens. miffed if I was Mr. Forston, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, but you don't want anyone using your name. Right, true, without right. you. No, yeah. that's, I, mean, yeah. that's, I think that's more about what it is instead of, you know... <laughs> Because he could have denied, oh, no, that's not what it's, but right. I mean, it, it's, you well, know, you just, Forsen, don't, you just yeah. don't want somebody using your name. Sure. But so. if he or somebody at the school district did say, uh, we're going to cut down school nurses to one because of COVID era funding, mm -hmm. and somebody kind of took the ball uh, over, around with it. That and, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Just, and just, just mistranslate it a little bit. As, just release the information as yourself. Don't. There's somebody else's well, name go. on it. That's, yeah, that's, that's I think that's that was the, weird, right? I think that's yeah. the biggest biggest thing. If if I was sitting where where uh, Mr. Forson's at, I mean that would bother me the most. Is like, okay, I understand you want to get the information out, but don't use my name. Yeah, don't use yeah. my government name yeah. Yeah. unless he said it. Unless yeah. he unless no, but don't say well then say 
By Tim Forsen. Yeah, Forsen. Yeah, sad. Sad. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if the letter necessarily like had Tim Forsen as the letterhead above there, like, hi, yeah. I'm Tim Forsen, and I'm I don't know what the letter looked yeah. like, but it says but yeah. Dear Parents and Concerned Citizens, comma. It doesn't say it at the top, it says his name at the bottom, like he wrote it. Oh, like yeah. he wrote it. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. his signature on it, right? Who would, yeah. Who would yeah. fake a letter? Like yeah. who would, it doesn't I don't understand the, the purpose of it. Like yeah. what was this well, to do? I'm confused. Yeah. I don't get it either. But uh, weird, yeah. So, <laughs> and then the weird turn is it's true, it's real. <laughs> yeah. Course, yeah, portions of it. I've never fake seen, letter, but real. Ninety percent real news. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. 